Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video. This one's a haul though, so everybody let's go check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another haul with D. So let's get right into it. I went to Walmart, picked up a few things. It is Friday. It'll be Saturday when you get this video. Um, just trying to get my little odds and ends together so that I don't have to go back out in this heat. This heat is ridiculous, but it is what it is. I try to do everything, as you guys know, when I get off work before I get home. So I had to go to Walmart and I have to tell you, the shelves are looking a little little bare, you guys. We're going back into it again, um, where you're going to be kind of scrambling a little bit for staples and things that you need if you have not prepped. Thank God I prep. I hope you do as well. Um, and you'll see in this haul, I really just got canned goods and things like that. I did not buy any meat whatsoever. Both my freezers, I have a chest freezer, a deep freezer, and I have a refrigerator, uh, open door kind of freezer, and then a tall freezer in that area. It's full. I'm blessed. Thank you, Jesus. It is full. Both freezers are full. So I, I didn't get meat because I don't have anywhere else to put it. But I did get some of my staples, some things that, that I need. So let's get into this haul, y'all. I got, this isn't a staple, but you know, I like my ginger ale. So I got some ginger ale. I got some juice. I have cran grape, ocean spray. I have cran apple, ocean spray. That's my jam. I got my wine. This is a new one that I want to try. I've not had this one before. I know there's a glare on it. This one is called Reggae Blueberry Splash Gato. I never had Splash Gato. And it says it's blueberry, but I'm telling you, it looks pink. It says that it's um, grape wine with blueberry juice. So maybe that's why it's Splash Gato. It's just a splash of blueberry in there. We're going to see what it drink like. I got that. Then I got some canned fruit. I got some pineapples. That's good for um, when I bake things, if I do a pineapple upside down cake, or if I make ambrosia, or if I just want some pineapple rings just to sit and eat. I got canned fruit. You'd be surprised at what you want and what you crave when it's not on the shelf anymore. I have some peaches, and I do have canned fruit. There's an ugly glare on this. I'm sorry, y'all. It, it's what it is. Um, I do have canned fruit, but I just got a couple more. I got three of the peaches. I didn't want to get too many because, like I said, I already have some. I got some mandarin oranges. It don't matter. Y'all know it's oranges in this can. I got mandarin oranges. Um, I like them in my salad, and I like them in ambrosia. I got some ocean spray, gelled cranberry sauce. I know some people think this is the grossest thing God ever made. Well, man ever made. Um, but my kids like it. And Thanksgiving is coming and I'm not going to be scrambling looking for this stuff. Because you will be if you don't get it. I only need one can for one day of the year. And this can is good until November of next year. So, we good. I got a lemon cake mix, box of lemon cake mix. I'll be making something. I don't know. I just felt like I wanted it. I picked up some blueberry cheesecake muffin mix and some strawberry cheesecake muffin mix by Martha White. I have never tried either of these, but you know, I'm going to make it do what it do. I will you know, add my own stuff to it, some fresh blueberries, strawberries, whatever. Um, some more seasoning, more flavoring. I'll add some uh, vanilla extract. Just whatever I feel like doing to make it my own. But I've never tried these. And these, I feel like, I love blueberry muffins. This will be good in the morning with some coffee. So I got two packs of the blueberry and one pack of the strawberry 
cheesecake Martha White muffins. We're going to see what she talking about. I got a bag of sugar. Um, I have sugar, but, you know, in hard times, you might need some more. Sugar keeps. It's not going to go bad, so I got sugar. I have my pumpkin spice creamer, K Confections. I got my pumpkin spice creamer. I had to wait forever. You already been had yours. But I do have another one in the refrigerator that I haven't opened yet. So, got to try to stay stocked up. I got some Idaho Instant Potatoes. I do enjoy making my potatoes from scratch, but in hard times when you can't get potatoes because they don't keep forever, um, you need something. And so you use just the bag or the box. So I got some Buttery Golden Secrets from Idaho, Idahoan. I got some Baby Reds. I got some Roasted Garlic. And I got some for cheese. So these were a dollar a piece. So I said, let me see what they do. These will keep for a good while. They'll keep way longer than any bag potato will keep. And it says that they're good until May of 22. So I got some potatoes and I do think I have a box of instant potatoes as well. So I'll have to rotate that. I'll eat those first before I worry about these bags. So I got that. And potatoes do keep for a while if you keep them in a cool, dry place, kind of in a dark place, and you leave them in the mesh bag, they come in, but you hang that bag up. It allows air to circulate so the potatoes aren't sitting on the floor or a table somewhere, and they start to soften and, and rot. If you hang them up in that bag, the air will circulate. They'll keep a little longer. Just a little. Something, something if you didn't know. I got, I know y'all don't come for me. We already have established <laughs> that I can make my own spaghetti sauce, but I do like to pick it up in the jar. I like to have the option. So I got two jars of ragu, put that away. And for making my own sauce when I want to, and I've got tomato, um, cans of big tomato, big cans of tomato like this, but I got some more because it keeps for a minute. This will keep until February of 23, 2023. So I got crushed tomatoes and tomato puree. And I do have more cans of this, so I'll just rotate. I'll put the older can up front and put the newer cans in the back. First in, first out. So that we're rotating our food and nothing's going bad. I picked up some beef broth and some chicken broth. I love to keep this stuff handy. Vegetable broth, if, if that's your thing, but I love to keep it handy. And I got three of the chicken, two of the beef, and they're good until July 2022. So, again, we'll rotate the old ones out, use those first, pull the new ones up, or put the new ones in the back, and that's what we will do. I got some Nusa Lemon Yogurt. This stuff is dessert. It's not healthy in any kind of way. <laughs> I don't even know why they put the word yogurt on it. I don't know, but I like it. And I got some fresh blueberries. I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to eat it. Not this whole container, but I'm going to eat it. So I love the Nusa lemon. It's tart. It's sweet. It's just good. It's dessert. Seriously. It tastes like dessert. I bet I could make a cheesecake with that. I bet I could add that to some cheesecake batter and it would be amazing. I got me some eggs. I do already have eggs, but we're going to get some more. And you guys, I actually really rotate my eggs. I'll take all the eggs out of my long egg bin that's in the refrigerator. I'll put all the new ones on the bottom and put all the older eggs on top. I rotate them out. I don't have food to waste. I rotate it all. That's it for all of the edibles. Let's get into the non-edibles. Oh, and I got some milk, but it's in the fridge already. I bought this tobacco basket. I know you guys are thinking, why'd you buy that? You could DIY that. I can, I think, but I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if I could or not. I probably could, but I've been wanting one, wanting one, and I finally got, broke down and got this one from Walmart. I am going to take this plaque out of here, use it for something else, and I'm going to put my um, fall flowers in it and a bow. It's going to be so cute. Y'all will see it if you go over to these cute and crafty 
Y'all will see it. So I got that, been wanting one. I got some florals to go in it along with florals that I already have. I thought this bunch screamed fall. How cute is that? I had to have it. I had to. So I grabbed that. And the way I'm going to do my tobacco basket, I'm going to just wire everything in it. I'm not hot gluing anything so that when I want to change it out, it's not glued on um, messy and you can't switch your um, greenery out or your flowers or your whatever. So I'm going to wire everything in so I can use it all year round. I can switch it up. D. D diets. What, what did I get? What did I get? What did I get, D? What's, what's getting ready to happen? <laughs> Girl, you know, ribbon is my, is my vice. It's, it, ribbon is my drug of choice, okay? <laughs> so I got this um, herringbone ribbon. I haven't had this one before. And you know, I don't matter. I'm going to get it anyway. And then I got some black polka dot. I've had that before. I got some cheetah print ribbon. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it was cute. And this ribbon I have never had, never seen. It is so cute. It is like the chicken wire with the chickens on it. It's got some little corn on there. That is farmhouse, and you know it is, and I'm going to be doing something with that. That's cute. They only had two rows left. I should have got them both, but I didn't. I left a row for somebody else. I got some pumpkins. This is the pumpkin garland. I'm not going to be doing a garland with this. I've got a couple ideas for this, so I will be crafting with this rip, with these um, pumpkins. I got some paint. I got the Apple Barrel Harvest Orange. I got the Apple Barrel Flamingo. Not Flamingo. Flame. And then Inco. Flamingo Red. I got that. And then I got this Hello Hobby Slate paint. Um, these, this was $1.67. These were $0.54 cent each. So I got a little paint. I got a new craft knife. I got the knife. So I'm excited about this. I know. Who's excited about a knife? I am. That's a staple in my crafting arsenal. I'm excited about it. I got me some letters. And the only reason I got these are because they, they're foam and they sit up. And I don't have any like this. So I like them. We're going to see what we can make that do. I got some Lysol. I have Lysol, but I'm not, I'm not going to run short. I'll tell you that. Now, Lysol is not flying off the shelf like it did first go around. But if it get bad, it starts getting worse. I'm sure it's going to start disappearing. I got me some more. I got to stay stocked up. And I got some disinfectant wipes. Got two of those. I got some Lysol all-purpose cleaner. I have at least four of these, maybe more. Yeah, it's like that. But I grabbed one more. I got toilet paper and paper towels. I put that away already. I got some light bulbs just because... Um, one of the light bulbs is burned out in the family room and I went to switch it out and I didn't have any more. So, and then I got these little spray bottles um, for crafting, spraying down tissue paper before you Mod Podge it or after you Mod Podge it or, you know, I got these. And that, my dear people, looking around because I'll, I'll get off of here and be like, oh, I didn't show them this. That, my dear family, is the end of this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I just, you know, show you the little things I buy and just share with you what I'm doing. Not, not a whole lot going on. Still stressed out, still praying for my friend, Liz, who just is not doing well at all. And it's heavy on my heart. I'm not going to get into it because I'll be crying. So please, please continue prayers for her family. It is greatly appreciated and much needed. So... If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. It truly helps my channel grow. It tells YouTube that you like my content and they continue to push it out. So 
Until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and please be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.